Living with dementia and a stroke or coronary heart disease can present challenges in your day-to-day -day life, particularly with things such as keeping active, eating well, managing your medicines, pain and depression and anxiety. But life doesn't stop with a diagnosis. Alzheimer's Australia Vic, the National Stroke Foundation, the Heart Foundation and other organisations can all offer you support so you can make the most out of life when you're living with these conditions. Keeping active is important for everybody. Physical activity is good for you, but it doesn't have to be hard. You can still exercise, even if you have weakness, if you're restricted, or if you have limited movement. Mum walks with a walker, and we normally do that after breakfast. And I put some music on, some old Italian music, and she'll just um, circle the house, like walk around um, the house. She may do it, um, she may do a few laps. And then when she gets tired, she'll sit down and have a rest. Doing any physical activity is better than doing none. So if you're not currently doing any exercise, start with something simple. You might like to try walking around your neighbourhood, gardening, simply getting outdoors, or dancing by yourself or with others. It's even better if you choose something you enjoy that can increase your heart rate a little, makes you feel warm, and gets you a bit out of breath. After I had my stroke, I went back to hydrotherapy and Tai Chi because I felt that was good for me. I'm used to, to being an active person, so I like doing that. But start slowly and build it up over time. Also try and break up long periods of sitting as often as you can by just getting up and having a quick stretch. Ask your physiotherapist or doctor about what type of activity program is best for you. Healthy eating and drinking are important for looking after yourself. This means eating different foods, including vegetables, fruit, fish, grains, nuts, beans, and lentils and lean meat. Even if you don't feel hungry, eating regularly will give you energy to do everyday things. Drinking water regularly is also important, especially in warmer weather or if you're exercising. One of the first signs of dehydration is feeling thirsty. Other common signs of dehydration include headaches, confusion and irritability, and lack of concentration. Having a small glass of fruit or vegetable juice from time to time is fine, but it should not replace drinking water. Avoid sports drinks, fizzy drinks, cordial and soft drinks, which are all high in added sugar. If you're having trouble eating, swallowing, or you don't feel hungry, speak to your doctor. The water is by the side of my bed, so it's easy for me to get hold of. So that when I feel thirsty, I can take a sip or two. Always take your prescribed medicine. If you're living at home and take a mix of different medicines every day, your pharmacist can do a home medicines review to help you manage these. You'll need a referral from your doctor for this, so talk to him or her about it. You can also talk to your pharmacist to pack medicines for you. Taking many different medicines can cause problems. Most people with heart disease or stroke take medicines to lower their blood pressure. If blood pressure falls too low, you can feel dizzy or lightheaded. This is not normal and can increase your chance of falls. Tell your doctor if you're worried about your balance or any falls you've had lately. Medicines for dementia or depression can cause a dry mouth, making food taste unpleasant and swallowing can be harder. Your mouth may feel sore and you may not want to eat as much. Your doctor can help you with this. Mum's heart medicines are important because when she takes them, she functions better, she feels better and her blood pressure is more controlled. People with coronary heart disease or stroke often take blood thinning medicines. This type of medicine means that a person may bleed or bruise easily, so take extra care with things like shaving or cutting up food. After having a stroke, you may feel shoulder pain, pain from stiff muscles or joints, or pain from tight muscles. You can minimise shoulder pain by putting your affected arm on an armrest or pillow, keeping your muscles moving by exercising, and getting your physio to show you some stretching exercises. If you have coronary heart disease, you may get angina. This can feel like pressure, squeezing, burning, or tightness in your chest. For some people, it can feel like indigestion. 
Get to know yourself. Don't push yourself too hard when it comes to physical activities. Know how much exercise you can do without getting angina. Depression and anxiety often occur together and have been linked with heart disease, stroke and dementia. Depression is more than the occasional low mood or feeling sad. If you have depression, you may feel sad, down or miserable most of the time. You might find it hard to be interested in normal day-to-day -day activities or you might cut down interaction with friends and family or isolate yourself at home. Depression and anxiety are different to dementia and need to be treated. If they're not treated, it can take longer to recover from a stroke or heart attack. Mum specialist has um, also prescribed medications to manage her anxiety and depression and she's receiving those medications and they're doing extremely well for her. Took a little while to get the right dosage, but um, at this point in time they're doing well. Depression not only affects your brain and behaviour, it affects your entire body. Some symptoms of depression are feeling sad all the time, headaches or sleep problems. Anxiety is more than just feeling stressed or worried. For some people, these feelings seem to just happen or continue after a stressful time has passed. It can be hard to tell the difference between dementia, depression and anxiety if they occur together. So speak to your doctor or other health professional if you're concerned. Getting support from family and friends can help you to keep doing the things you enjoy or need to do each day. So let people know how they can help. Your family and friends might also need support in caring for you. They can contact Carers Support Services such as the Commonwealth Respite and Care Link Centre, Carers Victoria and Alzheimer's Australia Vic. Different services and programs can help you to stay living at home. Your doctor is your main point of contact. Other people can help too. Medical specialists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, social workers, community nurses and care workers. The Home and Community Care Program is a Commonwealth and Victorian Government funded program. It provides basic support services for people who find it hard to do everyday activities but want to stay living at home. The program supports family and friends too. I have respite uh, four hours every week and in that time I'm able to go out and do some of the things that I need to do. Um, when I say the things that I need to do, it's generally shopping <laughs> and you know groceries. But you know, occasionally I'm able to fit in a haircut or go to the dentist or get my car serviced or something like that. But um, and I appreciate it and I look forward to it. Rehabilitation programs after a stroke or heart attack can help people return to full, active, and happy lives. You can work with your rehabilitation team to set goals that suit you. In addition to improving your day-to-day -day life, cardiac rehabilitation can also lower the chance of further heart problems. Referral to a cardiac rehab program is made by a physiotherapist or doctor. Stroke rehabilitation can improve your life after stroke by helping you cope with the effects of stroke and live a healthier life. Mum's had some shoulder problems since her stroke and um, she's um, seen the physiotherapist who's given her some exercises to um, maintain as much function in her shoulder as possible. Referral to a stroke rehab program is often made by a doctor. 